In this paper, we investigate improvements to Monte Carlo sampling through carefully designed joint distributions with an emphasis of the low sample high dimensional regime, often relevant for practical machine learning applications. We call our method geometrically coupled Monte Carlo, or GCMC, since it is geometrically motivated. Video of the Minita robot walk presented here is obtained by learning walking policies via ES random search algorithms with GCMC. Our central goal is to estimate expectations of functions of random variables x with Monte Carlo methods outperforming standard baselines. We show that optimal joint distributions of samples xi can be derived by solving multimarginal transport problem, often analytically tractable. In the robotics context, as we will see in more detail later, expectations can represent gradients of black box functions used for policy learning and parameterized by a vector theta encoding current policy. In that scenario, a common Monte Carlo baseline uses antithetic pairs, where different pairs are chosen independently, and coupled samples are of equal lengths. GCMC leads here to more accurate estimation by correlating directions of different antithetic pairs and using not equal lengths of samples within a couple. The aforementioned black box function takes as an input parameters of the policy mapping states to actions, often encoded by a neural network, and outputs total reward are obtained by applying this policy. Smooth relaxations of these black box functions lead to formulas for gradients given by expectations that can in turn be approximated via different gradient sensing techniques. Among them are standard FD method, method based on pairwise orthogonal sensing directions and independent Gaussian directions. Here our method can successfully replace estimators of gradients used recently by Salim and et al. for policy learning. We obtain the so-called antithetic inverse length coupling estimator with sensing directions within an antithetic pair coupled as shown in the green box where f chi stands for the CDF function. These videos show that our algorithm for gradient estimation can be used in gradient-based methods to learn optimal walking policies. It is true even if the number of samples n is low in comparison to the dimensionality of the gradient vector, which is equal to 96 for linear policies learned here. Thank you very much for the attention.